as I showed previously, I've been working on this uh, top lip of the door where the paint was very, very dry and also there was a masking line that went up to the rubber. Now I masked the rubber off um, to do the initial polishing with the uh, nano polisher, which um, got me to a start of a good finish, but it won't go right up to the rubber and clean off uh, the line. So it still is a telltale uh, that it had been masked up to the line. So a little tip um, really is get yourself, uh, basically this is a, a filler applicator that the body shop use and they've got tapered edges, edges on them. So, I don't know if you can see, but they've got tapered edges. And wrap a microfiber around and then run this under the rubber and you can polish up and under the rubber which means that you're not left with any telltale masking lines now the finish is as good as the other side of the car that wasn't like this and there's no telltale um, up against the rubber so somebody's not going to come along and go oh look that door's been painted um, just because they could see where it's been masked off to so i mean it can be used on a number of applications cleaning down uh, the back of the glass inside and you know get a, a cloth on and get right down into the the glass um and tidy all the edges up also it's great because now i mean obviously there's polish underneath um the rubber so i'm going to go over again and just to remove the polish that I've forced under the rubber while I've been uh, polishing it. But I just thought I'd share a tip that makes the job look a lot cleaner. Um, and overall it takes anybody's eye away from any work that's been previously done on the car. So, um, you know, there's lots of little bits I'm, I'm having to do on this car. Um, that I haven't really shown that have taken lots of little things like this um, to take away that I've been painted look um, and hopefully overall then when I'm finished the whole vehicle you shouldn't be able to tell that it's ever been painted um, you know these this is what I'm working towards it all takes time but the results are worth it so there you are, just a little tip and I'm going to crack on with the rest of the door now. Um, I've got that to a satisfying finish once I've cleaned under the rubber. Um, and so I'll just crack on doing the rest of the door. So I'll see you later. Well I'm on the door and doing multiple sets um, to cut the orange pearl down. Um, to try and get a better reflection from the light and uh, match it to the other panels and I think you can clearly see the difference that the colour is coming during the, this uh, cutting it's actually bringing the colour much richer and this is only the cutting stages um, but you can see the difference it's making even on a car that really from 20 foot looked beautiful when it arrived but um, as you can see the difference that it makes you know when we uh, do these polishing jobs you know it's um, makes a lovely car look even lovelier right I'm gonna crack on well, I found a bit more overspray on the inside of the door, so I'm just in the throes of uh, polishing it with the the little nano polisher. It's 
see if we can't get rid of all the uh, bad workmanship. And like I've said previously, it is a telltale that it's had paintwork and I'm trying to take all that away. So we'll remove this, see what it looks like. Right, because I can't hold the camera very well and polish, I'll uh, come back when we've had uh, a good go at it. We'll see you soon. Well, I found even more overspray on the inside of the door. I've been having a little polish at it to get it off and it, it's coming, but I just thought I'd uh, show you a little bit of uh, the process of removing it. It's a bit shoddy of the uh, the body shop that did it not to have masked off properly but as you see as by the door shut they obviously wasn't bothered. Thank you, good night. Well, I've opened the door and I found even more uh, overspray inside the actual door. You've seen that I did the door jams and obviously missed this. So I'm in the midst of... Uh, Polishing it off. There's no bigger giveaway than overspray to show something's been painted. And uh, when I'm going through so much trouble to get rid of all the towels, you know, you can't leave stuff like this. Have to be, uh, there's no point in uh, going through much trouble elsewhere. At least it seems to be coming off. Right, let's give it a wipe down and see how far we've got. This is about the third set that I've done. Well, there's just a little bit left round this edge. I'm going to have to turn around and go the other side to do it. So, I'm just going to crack on with that, but you can see it's starting to look nice. Right, I'll get it done, and I'll see you later. Well, after what feels like an absolute marathon, I've now got the both sides, the rear bumper and the front bumper to the standard that I was aiming for. So now I'm going to lower the ramp and start on the upper panels. And I'm going to save the bonnet till last because as I said previously there's a lot of work to do to that to get that to this sort of standard I'm very pleased uh, with what's been achieved considering 
you know I've uh, I have injured myself and could only use a three inch polisher yeah it's took a lot lot longer than it normally would uh, not that I ever rush but no we can move on now and um, really pleased with this so should be a pleasant surprise for the owner when he uh, eventually sees it finished because it does look 100 times better than when it arrived all we've got to do now is get the rest of it looking like this and uh, we'll be happy right so i'll see you soon i'm going to drop it down and work out where i'm going to start because uh, we've still got some really bad scratches to contend with up here um, and, and loads of uh, imperfections in the boot to put right um, but we're getting there slowly so I'll see you on the next one and uh, I'll get at it see you soon Hi I've started on the upper half of the car but I am faced with a dilemma with these plexiglass rear windows where somebody has polished through the top half and leaving the lacquer and you can see how many coats of lacquer by the lines um, I think the only thing I can do um, to tidy up is I've masked a square off uh, where it shows against the black you can see um, it goes into the clear there and I'm going to attempt to cut the rest of the lacquer off and then repolish the glass because I'm going to be using a rayon pad and some heavy cutting paste so I'll have to polish the plastic back up after but I need to make it look tidier than this now if this panel uh, against the black is clear of the lacquer i suppose the other option is to um re respray the lacquer um i didn't really want to get into um, painting it but you know it is another option um i'll see how i get on trying to cut it off and if it's not successful then I'll have to look at other options. And the other option is because the car's going for PPF, I could ask the PPF company to PPF over the this rear quarter, which would um, cover that and um, disguise it, which is probably the option I should go for. But I will try and uh, remove it because in any case, there's nothing to lose. So... It's Saturday morning and it's at the right height. Can use the three inch polisher and um, I'll see how I get on with this one. If this comes out okay, I'll do the other side to match. Um, and it'll certainly look a lot tidier. You know, I mean, that just looks awful. It's at the, <laughs> the wrong height, really, you know, because everybody's going to see it straight away. So, see what I can do with it. Right, I'm going to get on and see what the outcome is. So I'll see you in a short while, or not a short while. See you later.